I don't know what happened. I was out riding around in the car and suddenly everything shut off. I thought it was the car, but everything shut off. I mean, every car around me shut off. I saw an airliner come down. I'm about, I'm cutting through yards trying to get to back to my house. I don't know what happened, but whatever happened, I wasn't ready. Aim small, miss small. I knew it was him because he told me he was wearing Ted's underwear on the phone, live. that just hit Texas, Florida, Georgia. And where I'm at in South Carolina, we got a little bit of Harvey and a little bit more of Irma. And there for a moment, it looked like it was really going to be bad with Irma. And I realized how unprepared I am. So I've decided with that as a motivation to start building up my preparedness from the worst case scenario on down. The easiest thing for me to start with is plate carrier. This is a Tetsudo from AR500Armor.com. This is a plate carrier that is basically one size fits all. In the, in the pocket, it'll carry either regular size plates, 10 to, 10 to 12 or 11 to 14. So it works for both bigger people and regular size people, normal people, small people, whatever it is, however you want to phrase that. This is a very tough one, a very tough plate carrier. And for the price point at AR500Armor.com, uh, which they're currently out of stock, uh, this is this is really a steel. It's got channels for all of your hoses. It's got channels if you're going to run a sling, a two point, you know, a single point sling coming down off of here. It's got channels here and here. It's got your Velcro, and it's uh, it has a nice padding right there. That that's a nice breathable padding up against you. So if you have to run out the door, this would be a good thing to consider wearing. And I this is what I've decided is the plate carrier. In truth, I'd already decided that though, but I've, it's been sitting and I've decided to put it together. Now, going in it, front and back, we're going to have these ALSC level three plus lightweight plates. They come in at five and a half pounds each. So, uh, you know, not nearly as heavy. Rated to stop, I believe, a 7.62 by 51 M80 NATO ball. And behind that will be trauma pads, also from AR500Armor.com. And that would be a neat little package. But there's also some things that have to be attached to this to make it work. Everybody needs a trauma kit. This one is a Dark Angel Dark kit. I think this may be a second gen. I'm not sure. Uh, Carrie Davis at Dark Angel does a very good job putting these things together. This is going to be my trauma kit. And no, I don't care that it doesn't match. For the pouches to carry the ammunition, I wanted something that's sort of low profile and easy to maintain and one piece, one piece to make it easy. Enter GW Ayers at tacticaltailor.com. He sent me a uh, three magazine. This is called the Magna Mag Combo. This is three AR-15, 5.56 magazines and three pistol magazines. The pistol magazine pouches have some nice magnets in there to help you uh, keep your magazines in there. And also if you need to do it, a nice little Velcro tab that will also further secure them in your in your carrier. This is, to me, this is the bare minimum that you're going to put on a plate carrier. I never ran with a plate carrier when I was in the military, so for me this is all sort of a learning curve. So, so let's put this stuff together in three, two, one. Just like that. Although it wasn't really just like that. Some of these things I hate putting on these things, but it was necessary. Um, I'm going to ride the 
trauma kit right here on my right side ammunition right there now there's a couple things I don't have on this that I'd like to have I'd like to have a hydration bladder on the back because the plates uh, are only five pounds each I don't think that'd be too much of a, a load I might put on this side an additional two magazine pouches for rifle magazines but as it sits right now if I have to go out the door I think that might be ready to go of course if you have any I'd love to hear your comments and your opinions let me hear about them on the comments if there's any any suggestions as to how I could do this better remember I was in the military in the 80s we didn't run these things so also comment below links for all of this equipment will be found in the show notes in the description as well to find the show go to gcnlive.com lockandloadradio.com as a podcast at iTunes, Stitcher Radio, TuneIn, and now iHeartRadio and 188 different ways. For business opportunities, check me out with uh, Gap Marketing. Carl, uh, email charles at gapmarketing.com. Thoughts and prayers go out to the victims of the Las Vegas shooting. Let's not politicize this too much. This had nothing to do with tools. This is all about just a snapping of evil. Bear that in mind as you watch what you're going to see on television across the nation for the rest of this month, probably. Never been about gun control, not once, not ever. It has been. It's always going to be about total control. I am out.